another Sunday session video and uh, this time on uh, a verse from 1 Peter uh, 5.8 um, now this one is pretty much about being aware of the devil and sin and temptation in the world and how we are to be mindful of that um, so I'll read the text the text again is first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 be self-controlled and alert your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour so in the first part here, be self-controlled and alert. That also reads in some versions as uh, be alert and of sober mind. So obviously the two parts, um, which both say alert, mean the same thing, to be alert. Um, uh, to be, you know, if you're looking at it in terms of dictionary definitions, to be quick and notice danger, or to be, sorry, to be quick to notice danger. Um, and um, there's also the meaning of being watchful to be alert um, now here where it says be self-controlled and in other texts where it says to be have a sober mind one to have a sober mind um, obviously you need self-control um, so there's a lot of things that can uh, that you could that could be in your life that could rob you of your soberness. Um, obviously, the first things that come up you'd think of are alcohol uh, and illicit drugs, um, and those 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 things obviously will dull your mind and dull your edge so to speak, and uh, not allow you to be alert. And so in the second part there where it says, your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Um, now the imagery of the lion, uh, sorry, the imagery of the lion and a roaring lion um, is obviously to evoke a sense of of danger but also of uh, of power and uh, the, the power to devour you now obviously we're not talking about uh, some devil lion uh, that's gonna eat you um, the devouring is of your will um, your will to object to sin and your will to reject Satan. Um, and it's odd to me because I feel like the, a lion roars to announce itself. And then, so I guess it does make sense that if you're not alert and you don't have a sober mind, you're not self-controlled. All of that roaring that the lion does obviously won't alert you to your impending doom. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So how that relates to me in my life is I can be guilty of not hearing that, not hearing that lion's roar not seeing the things in front of me that present a danger um, and you know getting getting caught up in things that are that are just in unhelpful to me things that can hurt myself and hurt others and um, so it really comes down to being alert making better choices in my life and obviously staying in the word of God and being aware of these threats um, 
so as to be better prepared to deal with them and to stand firm in my faith when they arise. Um, and there's definitely been times in my life I find, <clears throat> I find that maybe there's a whole uh, there's this whole view of you know Christians being uh, holier than thou and you know all of this kind of stuff and you know what would you know about those kinds of things you know you're a Christian blah 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 but no one's born a Christian and we've all ignored the roar of the lion, so to speak. Um, and that's because we weren't, didn't have that knowledge that only comes by the word. We didn't have that insight. Um, and so after we come to Christ and we're more aware of, of the devil looking for holes and our defenses, um, then we should, uh, as the passage says, be alert and sober and self-controlled to be prepared for those attacks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me on that one. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Um, I'm obviously doing this every Sunday. But I do want to try and upload more uh, frequently and um, as soon as there's something worth filming <laughs> I'll also be doing vlogs again. See you next Sunday. Bye.